Welcome back. Well, it all started as a simple Twitter handle to promote the small town of Charlestown, West Virginia. The man who created the Twitter campaign says he just wanted to reconnect to his hometown and by letting others know about the many small businesses in this burg of just over 5,000 people. The move was a booming success. Now even some who doubted they needed social media see Charlestown now as a huge plus for their town's profile and their bottom line. We're joined now by the man who started it all, Van Applegate. Van, welcome. I should start by saying you have a day job. You're a photojournalist here at ABC 7 News. You work long hours. You commute from D.C. to Charlestown every day for your work. And yet you still put in all this extra effort at no cost mm -hmm. to do this for Charlestown. What was the motivation? Uh, well, it's simple. Um, I live in Charlestown and I was looking for a way to, to relate and, and really work in my in my hometown that uh, that I live in. So I needed to really figure out a way. I'm not really business savvy enough and didn't have the capital to start my own business, but I thought I could lend a thing or two with my social media skills to the town and its and its small businesses. It wasn't something you did as a profit motive. You still make no profit from it, but it's drawn a lot of attention to Charlestown now, uh, to Charlestown. So how does Charlestown now work? It's simple. Um, we do what Fortune 500 companies have been doing for the last four to six years on social media. We actively search and scour Twitter and other social media forms to find mentions of Charlestown, its businesses, its attractions, and we interact with those people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You so. literally go door to door. You will find someone asking about Charlestown on Twitter, and you will direct message people to get them to notice what's going on in Charlestown. Absolutely. Um, we believe that that's what it takes in a, in a small town. Um, the business owners have, have recently really figured out the power of social media. Um, and I've gone door to door and tried to set up social media accounts. A lot of them had Facebook. You know, Facebook's been around, and Facebook has really kind of replaced the website for a lot of these small businesses. But it's not as interactive as Twitter, and a lot of people are befuddled by how Twitter can work for them. Journalists are more addicted to it, and just your own Twitter handle is I like because you're so <laughs> amusing. I love the story you told. You're getting lots of media coverage for this, and I love the story you told one reporter about a locksmith who yeah. was a little dubious that he needed social media. Tell me well, about yeah, that. I mean, how do you tell a business owner, a small business owner, that has survived a Walmart coming to town, a Home Depot being built three miles away? How do you tell a locksmith who survived those things and, and the recession that he needs to start a small business uh, Twitter account, right? How do you tell him that? Well, um, it's simple. We, we did the search parameters that we do um, day to day. We you were there meeting with him. Absolutely. You did a search. We showed, we showed him the power of searching locked, locked out, locked in. Um, and and uh, keys, various search terms, and then we did a geofence. We we wrapped all Meaning those. Meaning a, a, literally a map drawn a around map. your area. Yeah, we, we we said we want those tweets only in this area to show uh, what it is. And we found a person who about 40 seconds to a minute before that search tweeted, "Just locked my myself out of my car at the Walmart in Charlestown." Way to show up the big box store. Right, right. He thought this was a setup. He didn't believe it. He, he uh, actually said, you know, you set this up. And we had to convince him that I didn't know this person from Adam. And it, the, the guy ended up calling him and uh, was able to pop the lock for us. He reached out to him and got a, got a absolutely, customer. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what we do. Um, it's, it's a lot of uh, people that are already in town, you know, um, whether they're visiting or they're residents in town. We, we've got the Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races, which is obviously our biggest attraction for the Washington metro area. People come to Charlestown already. We're trying to find those people and get them to come into the downtown, discover what downtown Charlestown has to offer as opposed to some of the larger entities around us. We're kind of surrounded by growth pockets. And um, we've, we've got that going for us, which a lot of small towns in America don't. So we're trying to capitalize on that and figure out how can we get connect the dots with customers to those small businesses. That's what I love. You really can go very micro with this. And you say the businesses in Charlestown can now find their customers before the customers can even find them. Tell us a little bit more yeah, what you mean you know, about we've that. Got, we've got such great small businesses. We've got um, a very unique Sweet Shine Distillery. We've got a custom furniture store. Uh, that Which one are we seeing We're looking here? at B Vintage right there, and there's our Jolly Yoga. We've got great uh, small businesses that are very unique and, and what towns really would, would want. And so what we're trying to do is portray them and show them that, that this is fun and this is how you can interact with customers by looking for them before they find you. You might, maybe somebody's visiting Charlestown, visiting family, and uh, they're tweeting about, you know, the long trip to Charlestown. We're going to encourage them while they're here, stop by Be Vintage and pick up something that you might like to take home. Stop by Jolly Yoga and, and, and practice yoga on one of our, on a, you know, one of our mats and, and stop by uh, and see everything that there is to offer. 
it's not a very well kept secret in media that the photographers are always smarter than the reporters. I don't know about that. And I've long known that and appreciated that about you. Um, you've mm -hmm. proven it here. Twitter reached out to you and said, we want to meet with you. Yeah, How well, did that happen? Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of uh, an interesting story. We, we, we ran a $75 um, uh, small business uh, ad campaign. And within those parameters, uh, if you're familiar with small business on Twitter, you can pay $75 and for each visit you get a, you know, you're, you're spending money. Um, so what ended up happening was we went through that $75 in 24 hours and for them that was kind of a unique thing to happen in a small town and they said we want to figure out what it is you're doing and promoted tweets and stuff like that. So um, it's been great. I, I've got to wrap up, uh, but you did uh, have a town in England even reach out to you. How did that happen? Yeah, in the last couple of weeks, we've really taken off. Um, we've caught the eye of a couple small towns, Iola, Kansas, S similar towns right here in the United States, but the, the farthest and far reaching one so far is the town of Blackheath, uh, England, in South London. Uh, reached out to us and said, we're trying to do the same thing you are and how can we do this? And they're full of vibrant, uh, great businesses also. So it's, it's very easy to share those best practices and that's how we're gonna go forward and try to figure out how can we expand upon this. And you're their secret sauce. I hope I don't get in trouble with our bosses <laughs> that now everyone in America is gonna wanna hire you and we're already asking you to help promote our show. I love my day job <laughs> and, uh, and I continue to do that. Like I said, you know, this is, this is something, it's a labor of love for me. And, Again, as we said, fun. you're not making any money from any of this. You're Zero dollars, yeah. We, uh, but others are making money as a result of your Absolutely. work. Absolutely. Well, I mean, we profit uh, by knowing that our small town is thriving. And uh, I mean, don't you want to live in a town that's doing well? We're portraying that well image on social media and showing people that we have great, great uh, local small businesses in our town. I want to live in a town that's doing well and then has Van Applegate yeah. in it as a proud citizen. Thanks well, so thanks, much for joining us on the Washington me. Business yep. Report. And stay tuned. We've got much more coming up after the break.